blood alcohol content example one. So Jan weighs 67 kilograms and has con consumed eight standard drinks in the past three hours. So this is Jan's a lady. So we need to use the formula for a female. Um, and, the, and I can't remember them. So I'm going to bring up, um, I've got kind of like a snipping tool I can use to cut this across. Okay. There's our formula there. All right, so we're just going to substitute our values in. And we're going to go, all right, bracket 10 times n. n's the number of drinks, so it's 8 drinks minus 7.5 times number of hours, which is 3. Okay, and at the bottom of the fraction, we're going to do 5.5 times m, which is Jan's weight. 67 kilograms. Now just a little pointer when you do these, I would recommend putting bracket a set of brackets at the bottom because whenever you have fractions, technically there are what you call hidden brackets at the top and bottom. All right, they've already put uh, a set of brackets at the top. So I'm going to work it out now on my calculator. I'm going to go bracket uh, 10 times 8 minus 7.5 times 3, close the brackets. Divide, bracket, 5.5 times 67, close the brackets. And this comes out to 0 0.16. We'll round it to two decimal places. Actually, no, we'll go 0 0.156. We'll get a bit more accurate. Now, first thing you'll notice is this is, this is pretty bad. You definitely can't drive. This is three times over the limit, three times more than 0 0.05 for Australia. Uh, question B says, how long should she wait before she drives home? Okay, so I'm going to go back and the formula is back over 0.015. That will tell you how many hours. So, number of hours, number of hours is BAC over 0.015. Now our BOC is 0 0.156, and that's going to be divided by 0.015. And according to this, it's going to take about 10.4 hours before she can drive. 